Welcome one and all to day, uh, I'm sorry, to Scotch and Smoke Rings episode 527. I am your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn here as always with suspenders set to maximum stun. Got a great show for you today. We've got a lot to go over, including some changes to the format of this particular broadcast. Well, not really the format, but more about how I've got it going together. By the way, if you're here for Bioshock Infinite, you are in the right place. I've got it loaded up and ready to go. So today is indeed day one of Bioshock Infinite, and I'll get into more about that in a bit. I installed a new device that attaches between my microphone and my uh, preamp over here. That is supposed to... Oh, I'm getting a bit of clipping. <clears throat> All right, I gotta, rec I gotta remember not to speak at the top of my voice. That's supposed to uh, increase the volume of my microphone while reducing background noise. And I don't have to speak from the diaphragm quite as loudly, apparently. Because this is how I normally talk, and man, that's clipping. So I just gotta remember that I don't have to talk like that anymore. Okay. Uh, there, that's a little better. I'm in the yellow now, and that's pretty much my normal voice volume. Of course, I could always go down to a whisper and put my mouth really close, and there, I'm I'm still a bit in the yellow. Anyway, I'm gonna, not going to fiddle with that, but uh, I installed that to, to try and uh, combat the low volume complaints I've been getting during some of the live streams, so hopefully we'll, we'll have that taken care of. Uh, great to see every bot. Here I am shouting again. Maybe I should just turn down the, <laughs> the gain if it's not working that well. Jay-Z says, yes, Ox, yes, finally, you got into Infinite. I hope you enjoy taking your time exploring and uncovering the story of the game, I believe is the icing on the Bioshock series. I hope you plan on playing the DLC, Burial at Sea. Yes, there is a Burial at Sea 1 and 2, and I do plan to get through all of it. That's the goal. Good to see everybody on Mixer and Periscope and Facebook Live. I am multi-streaming today. I'm not just on YouTube. I am all over the web. Suave Kibbles on Mixer says, so many on YouTube. That's right. We, I, well, I've got the majority of my audience is on YouTube, but I am, I am everywhere. So we'll see how many people can find me. Taz says, when are we going to get Wolf, Wallenstein? Young blood. <laughs> well, um, as I said, uh, I believe on Monday, the plan is to start Wolfenstein Youngblood on Friday. And the reason I decided to do that is because uh, Fridays are my uh, live stream days where I have a solid four hours to get through the story of the game. <clears throat> and um, the goal with Wolfenstein, I think, is... Um, I mean, the, the previous Wolfensteins, I did play on Scotch and Smoke Rings. But with Youngblood, I want to give, you know, each live stream a good solid four hours to get through it. Since we did Bioshock 1, 2, and Minerva's Den here on Scotch and Smoke Rings, I figured, well, since we just finished Bioshock, we might as well go right into Bioshock. So instead of breaking that and switching it up, I decided to do Bioshock Infinite on Scotch and Smoke Ring Days and Wolfenstein Youngblood on Friday to take over for The Sinking City, which we finished last week, which is a whole lot of fun. Uh, really enjoyed that game. Enjoyed it much more than I thought I was going to after uh, day one of, of playing that game. So I'm really glad I continued with that. In fact, I might, you know, depending on how much time we have and how long it takes for Cyberpunk 2077 and Outer Worlds to come out. I, I might play some of uh, Frogware's other games. They're Sherlock Holmes games. Those were really fun. Jackson says, Infinite is very different from the others and saw the replay from Mixer and the video quality is better. Yeah, everybody tells me that. That this broadcast looks better on Mixer. I don't know why. I've got the exact same settings fed to all of these different out. Uh, outlets, but apparently it looks better on Mixer. Hey, Oxhorn, hope you're having a good day. Mine's been okay, but it's better now. Well, Dawson, good to have you back on the program. I hope that the rest of your day is fantastic. Good to see the members in the chat, Flavio, Yamada. By the way, I'm working with another artist. We're going to update all of the member flair. Is that is that the right, the right words? The member rewards here on YouTube. 
Shootout says, I just finished L.A. Noir. Thanks for the good content. You are indeed welcome. I had a blast with L.A. Noir. Thanks for watching it. Um, and Quentin says, hey, Oxford, I just finished Far Harbor. Your videos helped me out a lot in certain parts. Thanks. You are indeed welcome. I, uh, I'm going to be, I've done a lot of videos for Far Harbor, but I'm going to be tackling the main story to Far Harbor in a future episode. Al Alex Sakata says, hey, Oxford, there's a new content for Metro Exodus as well as new Game Plus. Are you going to do that? Are you planning to go back? Yeah, I will be um, doing the DLCs, the two kernels, for Metro Exodus on Monday after I finish Death of the Outsider. So we're over halfway done with Dishonored 2's Death of the Outsider uh, DLC. It's almost like a mini game, really. And uh, it's great. It's it's my favorite so far. I'm having a blast with it. So once we finish that, then we'll move on to Metro Exodus, Wolfenstein tomorrow, Bioshock, and Wednesday. today. Okay, that's the schedule. That's all I've got time for while I continue to work on my live, my, my lore videos, okay? I hope everybody's up to date. King of Burger says, hey, Ox, just reminding you to not get baptized. Hey, no spoilers. I'm going into this game completely blind. I don't know anything about it. I finished Bioshock 1 and 2 and Minerva's Den. That's the sum total of my knowledge about the Bioshock series. So don't spoil anything for me. Please, I want to experience this game for the first time, which is probably an unrealistic expectation, right? I mean, I've got hundreds of people watching right now. Maybe that's an unrealistic expectation, but I'm uh, I'm looking forward to playing the game. <laughs> it's uh, w when I loaded up the loading screen for Bioshock Infinite, it looks great, so I'm looking forward to it. Jello Sickle says, "Super excited for this." Uh, an amazing gameplay by an amazing YouTuber. Thank you, Ox. I uh, hope you enjoy it. I hope I did too. I'm pretty excited. It was released, what, 2013? So that makes it the latest Bioshock game. And 2013... Well, it was after New Vegas. New Vegas came out in 2010. So we've got a couple a couple years worth of graphical improvements. I'm looking at the game now. It looks pretty good. It gives. It's got a, a Dishonored 1 vibe. It looks a little better than Dishonored 1, actually. Um, so we'll, we'll see that. Uh, uh, in just a bit. Nathan says, I've been waiting for this playthrough. Well, I'm glad you're all so excited. And I'm also glad that many people are excited about Wolfenstein Youngblood tomorrow. Jason Fisher says, Ox, you need to clone yourself for all these games. I know, I really do. And that was on f Facebook, by the way. So I can read Facebook, Periscope, and Mixer comments from this one little dashboard. That's so great. What a cool, what a cool feature. Welcome new member, Fortify File. Four, four to five, four to five, 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 sorry. Just trying to figure it out. Um, Yeah, welcome new member. So by the way, I was saying something about member perks or rewards or whatever. So uh, YouTube members get special icons that they can use when chatting on YouTube. And I last updated them about a year ago. It's been about a year. I need to update it. I've unlocked more emojis. The way YouTube works is as your membership grows, you unlock more emojis, which is interesting. So I, I was able I was able to have 10. So YouTube members can now use 10 ox emojis. And all you have to do is start typing like um, colon oxhorn or something to see a list of them all. I forget what they all are. I think if you hover over the smiley face icon, you can see them. Anyway, I've got room for six more. So I'm gonna add six more emojis. Then I can upgrade er, the uh, the member icon that appears next to a member's name that includes the number of months and years they've been a member. So I figured I would give you guys some more flair that way. So I've got an artist working on that right now. We're gonna get those updated and make it look really nice. Uh, sadly, I can't tie that in with Patreon rewards that, and I can't tie Discord rewards in with YouTube. So basically my YouTube members get uh, emotes, emojis, and uh, icons and all that on my YouTube chat. And my Patreon subscribers get access to a couple of private Discord channels, only for Patreon subscribers on, on my, my Oxhorn Discord. Not a lot of activity on, my, uh, on, uh, on those channels, but they are exclusive. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Been waiting a while for the playthrough, says Nathan. I think I just read that, actually. Um, Ryder says, you're going to enjoy Infinite first Bioshock I played. Hey, well, I'm glad I went through the order, so I have a little bit of context going into it. Kristen Kemper with a tip. Thank you very much, Kristen Kemper. Okay. I see all of you members making really good use of those emojis. <laughs> That's great. 
They look good. I'm, I'm trying to use the same artist I used last time too, because she did a great job and I want to make sure that the new emojis have the same look, feel, and style as the old ones. So that's the that's the idea. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> uh, but so time to showcase props, right? I've got props in the thumbnail. I got to show off. If you follow me on Twitter, you know they got a new prop. By the way, if this starts to blow out your ears, just let me know. I changed my audio settings a bit, and I think it's okay, but just let me know, and I'll try and fix it. Anyway, uh, I, I showed it off in my Twitter feed earlier, so if you're following my, me on Twitter, you got a sneak peek. But uh, here we go. <clears throat> I got lots of comments from people on Twitter saying that they really wanted to scrap it for screws. That, uh, But the funny thing is, there's like three screws in this entire thing, if that. I don't think there's one screw there, although I'd call that a bolt. Really, what you would get out of a fan is copper wire. Because there's a bunch of copper wire that makes the electromagnet as part of the motor. Tech One says, thanks for all the content. Many great bedtime stories to listen to as I fall asleep. You're welcome, Tech One. Thank you very much for the tip. Welcome new member, Fiery Ghost 3. Good to have you on the program. Is that a new shirt? Snazzy says, Matthias Mag. Actually, yeah, it, it is a new shirt. My, my wife updated my, my wardrobe. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so there we go. Uh, basically, the problem I had was finding a desktop fan that had this rather rare paddle-shaped uh, fan blade. Now, um... The paddle-shaped fan blade, I don't think would be a very effective fan blade, at least compared to more, uh, more of the wing-shaped or scoop-shaped fan blades that came out in the 50s. This is a 1920s or 30s desktop fan, as you can tell from the Art Deco-looking um, base. And it differs from the real Fallout fan uh, in a couple of ways. The real Fallout fan had a round base instead of this... Um, unique tapered look, and the cage around it was a little bit more elaborate. It had concentric rings instead of this sort of wavy look. But everything else about it is identical, and I was really glad that it was painted the same way. Hold on a minute. I think one of these blades is bent. Let's bend that back up. All right, it works. Here we go. Which one was it? No. Nope. That one. Oh yeah, there's a bend. Oh, but wait, that bend is in all of them. Is it the blade or the cage? If I bend that up just a smidge. There we go. I can barely feel the wind. So it works. And this is from the 1930s. So uh, I'm terrified right now. It might just kill me any minute because I doubt that there's, oh look, raw copper wire right out the back there. I could probably touch that and die. So let's turn this off. There we go. Much better. Um, yeah, so my, I, I'm pretty pleased with this acquisition. I got it on eBay for like 30 bucks. You know, not super cheap. But, yeah, I wanted it, and it's vintage, and it's authentic. I don't know the brand of it, though, because the brand marker was right there, and it's worn off. It's completely gone. And, uh, the, really, the only thing I regret about it is that the, the blade spins so quickly. If you take a look at the Fallout 4 fan in Fallout 76 or Fallout 4, the old version looks like this. It's rusty, it's got grit, and it doesn't move. But the new version rotates slowly, like that. And I've always been perplexed by that, right? Because let's assume for the moment that it is plugged into the wall, though we don't see any cords. Um, there's no motor that would move that slowly. To, I mean, I suppose there could be a fast-moving motor, motor attached to a bunch of gears inside that would make it move really slowly. But I did a bunch of reading online, and I could attach this to a dimmer and then turn the dimmer all the way down to get the, the blade to go really slow to match the Fallout 4 one, but that would destroy the motor and burn my house down. So I'm thinking I'm not going to go that way. Uh, probably going to avoid that. And maybe I'll just not plug it in. I mean, how about that? I'll just not plug it in. 
So there you go. I wish it spun a little bit more slowly. I wish it had a round base and I wish it had a different cage, but otherwise I'm really pleased with it. And that's gonna go on my shelf. All right, got a few more props to show off. The Dark uh, Seraph says, second time's the charm. I got a Macanudo, 1968. Now you can buy two. Enjoy. Sweet. Two Macanudos. Where's my cigar? Where is it? There it is. <laughs> it's about time I set the world on fire. Ryder Wheeler says, I want to, man, I probably just blew your ears off with that, didn't I? Sorry. Ryder Wheeler says, yeah, I did it again. All right, I'm just going to turn the gain down a bit because I've come to realize that I just talk loud. <laughs> check, check, check. Test, test, testing. Loudly, loudly. In our last video, we turned left at Grey Ditch and- Oh my god, ants! It's still loud? Okay, hold on. Green, 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 yellow, 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 orange, 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 orange red, red! Okay, there we go. Red! Red! Yellow! It's still red! Why is it still red? <sighs> Sorry, you're all probably uh, deaf by now. Well, my bad. A uh, writer says, I uh, wanted to ask you where you got the Fallout New Vegas neon sign. I got that on eBay. So that, I, I explained it in my last broadcast. The Fallout New Vegas neon sign was a marketing prop sent to brick and mortar video game stores like GameStop during the promotion of Fallout uh, New Vegas in 2010. And so they put those in the windows and then after the big marketing push of the of the game, you know, they had all of these extra signs floating around, and some of the managers were gifted them, and then after they left GameStop or whatever, they took them home. Well, these all ended up on eBay, and you can now find one owned by a former GameStop employee for a, a tidy sum. It, it cost about $700. It wasn't cheap. It was <clears throat> but um, as I talked about last week, they're notorious, apparently, and I didn't know this before buying it, for uh, having a short lifespan. Uh, the tubes are not made of the proper diameter. They're smaller than usual, which means they have a shorter lifespan. Uh, they weren't created with red glass. They were created with transparent glass that had been painted red. They were then glued to the acrylic background. They were very much uh, designed on the cheap. But they are rare, and so maybe they're valuable in that sense. But I bought one, and it works, and I need to figure out where I'm going to put it in my office. Welcome, new member Jackson. Uh, I think he's probably uh, resubscribing. The Epic Demise with a tip. Thank you very much, Epic Demise. Uh, Fortify says, I think some Bioshock songs are copywritten. Yeah, I, I discovered that when I booted up the game. So I turned the music all the way down. You're still going to hear ambience and audio and sound effects. And I wish it were not the case because I love the music in Bioshock, in all of the Bioshocks and in Fallout. But uh, I sadly can't live stream any of the music from this game or else it's just going to uh, shoot my revenue out, the, out of cannon. Is that even an expression? Oh, it shot my revenue out of cannon. Well, I, I made it an expression. There you go. I'll have to put that on a, on a shirt. Uh, Sarah says, Your Fallout New Vegas openings are beautiful. Hard work pays off. Uh, thank you very much, Sarah. I had so much fun working on the intro segments to my Fallout New Vegas uh, DLC series. There's some of the, the my favorites that came out and, and the main story. I think one of my favorites. Well, no, I really had a good good time working on the Caesar's Legion one because I got to go back to my college days and that was actually a song that I sung in uh, in choir. We were in the um, University Chorale. <laughs> Mozart, Mass in C minor. Kyrie. Kvitolis. Oh. Kvitolis. Tolis. It was Kvitolis uh, from Mozart's Mass in C minor. 
And then I just turned it minor and made it, you know, darker. And we turned it into the opening of the uh, the Legion the Legion story. And then I really enjoyed doing the one for the opening of the NCR because I got to do an all brass military rendition of California Dream, and uh, I thought that would fit great. And it turned out wonderful. And we worked on it for weeks. And I'm just really grateful that everybody enjoyed that. Ethan says, the whole game without music? I know, Ethan, I'm just as heartbroken as you are. Look, if you know of a spot, <laughs> I mean, it had, it... Ethan's the one who kept reminding me to turn the music back up in my last live stream of Bioshock 2 because he didn't want to be missing like the, the musical cues throughout the game, like when you go into a room and it's dark and then the lights come off and it's a skeleton, ah, jump scare. Gotta have the musical cue that goes, chon chon chon. Because that, that's part of the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could turn the music up and then just mute it every time there's a song that would demonetize me. But, man, that would be a lot of me going like this throughout the live stream, just pushing buttons. Ugh. YouTube is just not a good environment for this kind of thing. Sadly. Ethan H. says, Ox, could you turn it down when near radios and back up after they're gone? Uh, well, it's not even the radios. It's the loading screens. If it's anything like, like Bioshock 2 and Bioshock 1, when you load a save or load into a new area, you get the big loading screen, and then they play something from the 40s and 50s. So... Is that a Pip-Boy on your shelf, says Anthony? That's right, I have every Pip-Boy. Well, except for the Pimp Boy. But I do have every Pip-Boy. I've got the Pip-Boy from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas over there. I've got the Pip-Boy from Fallout 4 over there, the Pip-Boy from 76 over there, and the Pip-Boy from Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics on the ground there, at least an artistic interpretation of what it might have looked like in three dimensions. Nathan says there's a few songs that are part of the storyline. Oh, great. Doggone it. Well, I might have to turn the volume up then. Jason says, unfortunately, Ox, I am now a follower. So if you stop using YouTube, I'll have to follow you wherever you go. If only everyone was as loyal as you are, Jason. <laughs> My life would be much, much easier. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Tony J says, you're trying to get people to come here, Ox? Uh, he's saying that from Mixer. Look, it's not my fault that everybody who comes to my live stream says it does look better on Mixer. I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently everybody loves Mixer, so it's fine with me. You guys watch from wherever you're most comfortable. Jay-Z says the music is worth it. Ox, just push the button screen. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll do the button push thing. All right, we'll get some music, and I'll just push the buttons when it becomes copyrighted. I hope I catch every single one where I'm boned. Theo Hillman says, I was wondering, do you think you'll cover the original Rage or... The Rise of the Ghosts expansion for Rage 2, I've already covered the original Rage. In fact, Rage was the very first non... No, I take that back. Bioshock 1 was the very first non-Fallout game I covered on my channel. Then Rage 1. So I've got that playlist live on my channel. You can go check it out if you want. Uh, but uh, a Rage 2 expansion or a DLC, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I enjoyed Rage 2. I really did. So I'd be delighted to come back. I'm really looking forward to going back to Metro Exodus for the DLC, because that was a fun game as well. Gemini says, The first time I made a YouTube video was with my little brother when we played Bioshock 1, and we loved it, but also got startled significantly. <laughs> uh, that's great. By the way, I've got more to show off I forgot about. Oh, we're already 30 minutes, 30 minutes into the Q&A section. How is this already half over? Hold on. Put my mini nuke over here, which I already showed off. I should really 
stand up for this, but I'm lazy. Okay. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Postcard from the Wand Company, the guys that did the diecast Fallout cars. Um, I had an issue with one of my cars. The paint was chipping in the back of one of my picker up trucks. And I emailed them about it, and they, you know, immediately shipped me a new one and sent me this postcard. So, great, great customer service, the one company. The great, great people. Then there's, let's see. So, if you recall, last week I showed off the first magazine in my post apocalyptic uh, table, uh, let's see, post apocalyptic coffee table reading list, right? I said that one of the things I want to do for my office is I'm going to get a few more furniture pieces. I'm going to replace this chair with a better sort of lounge chair with a recliner. And then I want to put a magazine rack next to it with a bunch of, of, of reading material. And uh, I want all of the magazines to be authentic, real-world post-apocalyptic magazines. So I showed off an issue of uh, Popular Mechanics last week that... Uh, depicted a single wing airplane, much like the Horizon Flight airplanes from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. Well, the big treasure trove arrived. So here's another one I'm going to add to my collection. Galaxy Mind Swap. This is a novel, but take a look at that cover art. That is a space station, much in the way of the one that we get from Fallout 76. I don't know if I can get there. Here, let me, let me change the focus. Hold on. focus there, right? There's the cover art. That's, that's reminded me of the space station from Fallout 76. And as soon as I saw that, I had to get it. So we'll have that in the rack. Then there's this. Time. It's a copy of Time. January 30th, 1956. The Weekly Magazine... Title, The Missile. Right? The Missile, post-apocalyptic. I love that artwork. And I took these all out of the wrappers and the sleeves because I, I hate collecting things and keeping them in the packaging. Am I the only one who hates that? I, I, I've had a lot of friends who have collected a lot of, you know... Um, what are those those Funko Pop dolls or whatever? And I'll go into their rooms or their their houses, and they'll have an entire closet filled with cardboard boxes. I don't have that kind of room in my house. I'm not going to do that. By the way, I love the back of this one. Here's an authentic vintage Coca-Cola advertisement. Uh, it's kind of trippy. <laughs> and I can't even read what that says. Here is the distinctive quality of Coca-Cola. Here is the unique tang of its taste. Here is that fresh sparkle, unmistakably Coke. If only it said Nuka-Cola. Then I have a selection of Life magazines. Here's one. How to Survive Fallout. Ah, gosh. I might have done my focus a little bit too much. Like. How you can survive Fallout. 57 out of 100 people can't be saved. Or 97 out of 100 people can't be saved. Detailed plans for building shelters. And a letter to you from President Kennedy. Right? Then a vintage cigarette, cigarette ad right on the back there. <laughs> Thought that was great. Then there's this one from Life Magazine. In this issue, the danger of war and our ability to face it, Churchill on Pearl Harbor, development of the bomb, part two of a series. And what's that? 
Oh, that's the atom bomb or the H bomb. Atomic explosion, February 27th, 1950. Right? And then here's one of my favorites. Here's one of my favorites. This is January 12th, 1962. New facts you must know about fallout. The drive for mass shelters. And then look at that. A fallout shelter in the middle of the city. They actually made these. There are a couple of guys on YouTube uh, whom I watch. They're urban explorers. And one of the things they love to do is discover these old fallout shelters that were built in London and in major metropolises. Or metropolis. Metropolises. Metropolis. Anyway, they, uh, they've, um, there's one in Cincinnati that they did, which is interesting because I got married in Cincinnati, so I would love to go back and explore it. But yeah, the, the, these fallout shelters were furnished. They still had beds and mattresses. Kids have broken into them and spray painted them and done all sorts of things in them, but these were real. Urban fallout shelters for the masses. It's like surreal. It's surreal. Then there's this. I found a copy of Mechanics Today. This doesn't have anything to do with space or the post-apocalypse, but tell me what you think of when you see the cover. That's right, the glass elevator in the Institute. It's so funny that so much in Fallout is inspired by, you know, popular culture and the pulp comics uh, and the imagination of people who lived, you know, half a century or a century ago. Uh, this, was, uh, this was published in... The 1940s, I think, it's not on the cover. I don't know, it's not saying. Nineteen fifty-three, November nineteen fifty-three. Now, in this particular magazine, it's envisioned as an undersea elevator. But look at that; it looks exactly like the elevator from. The Institute. It's, it's almost identical. At, at, instead of going underwater, the one in the Institute, of course, goes underground. Isn't that surreal? I love it. All right, let me uh, refocus that. A doggone it. I've screwed it up. Anyway, that has been my pet, my pet project. I had so much fun uh, reading up on vintage magazine shops. Uh, by the way, I didn't get, I got a few of those on eBay, but most of them I got on um, uh, websites where they keep, they keep records of thousands and thousands of vintage magazines. None of those were expensive. Uh, one was $5, another was $10. They were really not that expensive at all. Somni224 says, I'm super into urban exploring as well. My brother and I are more into abandoned hospitals and sanitariums, though. I've seen a few of those. <laughs> I don't know if I could do hospitals and sanitariums. Those are, you know, those are creepy enough when people still inhabit them. When they're abandoned? Yeah, no thanks. Think I'll skip that one. <laughs> Al Chan says, hey, Oxford, longtime fan. I came into a live stream. I have a long night ahead in here at the office, so happy to watch the whole stream tonight and see you play while I do some work. Love Bioshock. Thank you, Al Chan. I hope you have a good time. I'm really looking forward to Bioshock Infinite. Kyle Neuschwander says, hey, Oxford, I know it's a lot of work, but think you might do a video showing off your office sometime. Looks like a dream from here. I'm, I'm getting closer. In fact, I just bought a microphone neck brace. My plan is to use this microphone so I can retain the audio fidelity of my live broadcasts and my lore videos instead of getting a lavalier mic. And then I can hook it onto my chest and then grab the camera and just do a walkthrough. That's my that's my plan. So I've got the, the microphone caddy 
for my shoulders, and it's just a matter of fitting it into my schedule. I'm trying to do Fallout 3 stuff. By the way, I hope you really enjoyed the Fallout 2 video I published earlier today. I'm working on a new Fallout 3 video on Grey Ditch and the quest Those. And uh, after having shot the footage, it's much longer and more complicated than I had originally thought. So um, I'm probably only going to do one video for the weekend, and it's going to be well over an hour long. Cole McLean says, Ox, I got my new PC, but tragedy struck. My router box isn't working. It won't connect to anything. It says I have internet and a strong connection, but not using my phone data. But nothing. I'm using my phone data. Hope you're doing better. Thank you, Cole McLean. PC problems, especially when it comes to the gaming or work PC, are just really frustrating. And especially if you made the PC yourself, so you really have no one to talk to because you built it yourself. They can be really frustrating. I hope you can find the solution. Uh, Kyle says, pinging from my earlier message, love your content. Thank you. Pardon me. Thank you, Kyle. Yep, I had to scroll up and get them all. <laughs> Rob Colley says, just finished your video on the raging dumpster fire that was the three endings for the sinking city. So, yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that I got to hang out with you during your play, I would be irritated. <laughs> well, I'm, I don't know what we should have expected. Uh, it's true that the three endings possible for the Sinking City were anticlimactic. We'll put it that way. Um, there is no happy ending when dealing with Katiganar, right? Uh, so, what should we have expected? I don't know. But they were all kind of a bummer, the endings. Uh, but the joy of the game was was the playing it, right? Even if the ending was frustrating. Striped Llama says, I've finally been able to catch a live stream, got my first job back in June, and now with the semester starting back on the 21st, I've been so busy. Glad to be back. Enjoy yourself some good scotch. Thank you, Striped Llama. Here I am. I poured myself some scotch before I sat down. We're 42 minutes into the program, and I haven't even taken a sip. Cheers. Okay. Misty Mushmoons says, I haven't been into the uh, been to the chat in live streams in a while, lol, but did you see any videos from Wayside Digital on YouTube yet? The video Nuka Break is one of their best, haha. -ha. I have had a uh, Nuka Break recommended to me, but I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and watch anything from their channel yet, but I'm sure it's amazing. Ethan H. says a lot of the songs in this infinite are custom covers made just for the game. Others are from the 1800s. Can either of those get you striked too? Yes, they all can. I don't understand why, but apparently uh, when it comes to copyright law, music companies just don't have to obey it. I mean, it's supposed to be where after 70 years, a, a song enters the public domain. Now, I don't know anything about copyright law, so it could be that they're renewing copyright and that's how they get around it. But even songs that are from the 20s and 30s, which at one time I, I used as background music on this channel because I thought that they were public domain, even those songs are almost all owned by someone on YouTube. And so every time I upload a video that has any of those songs, I get pinged and I just take all of the monetization options of my videos. And the, 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 the thing is, it's true of covers. So even if it's not an original recording from the band, if it's a cover of a song that shares the same lyrics or in any way sounds similar to it, the original copyright holder can still take revenue from that. I've gotten some of my videos dinged for being covers of songs when they're not even covers of songs. <laughs> So it's just a big, it's a mess on YouTube right now. Okay. 
I think that's as, as good as I can do for now. It's Fuzz Fox says, Ox, start a Discord channel for your fans. I've already got one. I link to it in the description of every video. It's also linked on my channel homepage. Ox on your camera is still out of focus. I think he wrote that just before I sat down to try to refocus it. I think it looks okay for me. I can't find my glasses, so it's hard for me to see from here. Roman says, hey, Oxhorn, have you seen the new System Shock 3 teaser yet? You can do it now. It's only 109. Maybe later. System Shock teaser. System Shock 3 teaser. Sounds really interesting. I'll have to make a note. That's good, says Jackson. Thank you. Perfect, says David Norrell. Thank you, David. Ethan H. says, It's a real shame because some of the songs in the game even have lore behind them and tie in with the plot. I'll do my best, but I can't play copyrighted songs on the broadcast. I agree that it's a shame. <laughs> I did my best on adjusting that camera. I'm thinking it looks all right. Hey, what are you streaming tonight, says Scotty the Savage. Tonight we are streaming Bioshock Infinite. Wooden Pigeon says, hey, Oxhorn, I made an Institute Cowboy. That's an interesting combination. Well, I hope you had a great time with your character. Comet Dagger says, hey, Oxhorn, what are your opinions of PewDiePie hitting 100 million subscribers? I'm, I'm happy for the guy. I'm glad he made it. I'm glad he's the first person in history to make it. Uh, sounds like he got a custom-made button just for him because I don't think anyone else is going to be sharing it with him anytime soon. But what, a, what an astounding achievement. You know, uh, I, I hope to, to reach half of that someday. And that's being ambitious. That's being extremely ambitious. <laughs> but I hope to reach out for that someday. That would be exciting. Weird Beard says, feeling really cruddy tonight, but hanging out in your streams always helps. Excited for Bioshock. I also am excited for Bioshock. Is it your first time playing Infinite, says Scruffy Bruffy? It is my first time playing Infinite. So uh, you get to you get to enjoy all of my... All of my my initial reactions to brand new content. I love your channel, says Ian Reed. Thank you, Ian. So glad you're here. Undead says the button button wasn't custom, but it was cool. It wasn't custom. Is there someone else with 100, well, 100 million subscribers? Isn't there like a like an Indian car manufacturing company or something? They do car part reviews or something that's getting close? No. Terrian says, do you plan on playing Borderlands 3 at all? You know, I get that question quite a lot. And I, I have no plans of playing Borderlands 3 at all. It just doesn't look interesting to me. But so many people ask me about it that maybe it's something maybe it's something I should look into. Because, uh, yeah, I, I probably get that question at least once a broadcast. The reason I'm playing Bioshock to begin with is because uh, viewers came to my live streams and, and asked me if I was going to play it. I had never heard of Bioshock, played Bioshock beforehand, but so many of you asked me about it that I'm like, well, I guess I better play it. And man, I'm glad I did. It was great. I loved it. Uh, so maybe I should play Borderlands. Uh, I don't know. It just like that art style doesn't really appeal to me. But maybe I just haven't seen it. Maybe maybe it's one of those things that you really like once you play it. Mm -hmm. 
Brett Bus says, can't wait for Bioshock Infinite, my favorite in this series. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Brett Bus. I'm looking forward to it. All right, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, then we get to the game. Mr. Three Paws says Borderlands is just a big shooter looter with cartoonish look. Really? Hmm. I wonder. Uh, Sal Rubio says, can we get a cabinet close up? Uh... Well, not today, not today. Maybe, maybe when I do my video on the office, I'll, sh I'll show off the whole office. I mean, I'm waiting for more furniture, so I don't know if I should do it now or later. Maybe I should do it later. Maybe I should wait for my new furniture to arrive. I don't know, I'll do it, I'll do it soon-ish, soon-ish. Zach says, hey, Oxford, hope you're having a great day. Thank you, Zach, I hope you're having a great day as well. I am having a good day. Went to a doctor appointment earlier and then tried to get to work on my Fallout 3 video for the weekend. I uh, didn't have much of a chance to work on it today. But I've made progress. I have all of the footage shot and recorded and loaded in Adobe Premiere. And I have all of the proxies rendered. So tonight after the broadcast, I'm going to edit it a little bit to uh, get all of the dialogue in the right order. And then tomorrow I'll knock out the narration after tomorrow's broadcast and hopefully have it done for you by Saturday. If not Saturday, then by Sunday. X Jinxie says, I just have to say, I've watched every Fallout video that you've made and I've spent hours a night watching your playlists. I love your content and love you as a person. Oh, X Jinxie, that's extremely kind. I, I worked really hard to try and get all of my playlists to make sense. And so it's, I'm, I'm gratified to hear that people are able to, to easily navigate them to get the content that they need. D. Terrian says, it's a really silly game, but it's fun in my opinion. Cool, cool. Might be worth looking into. Z. Chibs says, been super sick. Glad to finally be home and looking forward to catching up and new adventures. Well, I don't know how long you've been gone. I, I, it's been a while since I've seen you. Good to see you again, Z Chibs, on the program. If you have been gone a long time, then uh, you've got a lot to, to catch up on. There's, there's been a lot. Uh, Laura says, uh, Oxhorn, YouTuber, All Chest Breach is in the chat on Mixer saying hi. Oh, is he? Let's see if I can find the Mixer chat. There he is. He says, uh, Taco... Meow Karoon, Xbox Party, Ox High, Mixer Love. Mixer Love. Coffee Cup. You're saying a lot of um, um, interesting things, single words and monosyllabic words. But great to have you on the program, I'll, ch I'll Chest Breach. Anyway, Z Chibs, yeah. We finished The Sinking City. We finished Dishonored 2. We finished uh, Bioshock Minerva Stand. So there's a lot to catch up on. He says, I am not Al. I'm not all, he says. Oh, I, I should have gotten that from the 21 in your name. Okay. You just save his name. This is awkward, he says. Well, what do you expect? You're, you're typing in the chat. I see your chat. I do read the chat. I'm, I'm trying to get through as much as that I can. This is awkward, he says. <laughs> Superhuman Ninja says, Ox, we need to get you to 2 million. You have worked hard on their grind. Um, I thank you, my friend. I do appreciate it. I, I hope to get to 2 million eventually. It's one of those things where you, you never know what the the plateau of a community is where where you've pretty much exhausted all a community has to offer. So, for example, um, 
There are only going to be so many people on YouTube who are interested in Fallout number one and interested in actually subscribing to a Fallout lore guy, right? And as a YouTuber, you never know when you, hit, when you reach that ceiling. Last year, my channel grew by leaps and bounds, partially due to the announcement of Fallout 76 coming. Then 76 comes out, and it had its a natural um, slowdown. It's still growing, but it has slowed down compared to where it was in the summer of last year, um, which is a natural part of a channel, especially after a big game release and announcement. But you also wonder, how many more Fallout lore fans are there out there? So you hope that new ones are created each and every day. That's why I say that there's no such thing as competition on YouTube. There are some people who will sit down and say, oh, this YouTuber is competing with that YouTuber. They do uh, a, a similar game or they talk about similar things. No, no, there's no, there's, I mean, unless you're just being awful towards another person and making videos about them, slandering them, there's no such thing as uh, competition on YouTube. If another Fallout YouTuber channel does well, I do well. Their videos get recommended in the YouTube algorithm feed. More interest is generated about Fallout. More interest is generated about my videos. That's why I love it when I see other YouTubers doing well about Fallout on YouTube. And I think that's the philosophy everyone should have about uh, their game gaming niches and, and games in general. As other people in the gaming industry do well on YouTube, gaming as a whole is going to become more popular. And, and I'm going to do better as well. So, yeah, so I, I, I just hope that, uh, that I haven't reached a plateau and that the, the people who are interested in lore about Fallout will continue to grow. But that's also why I'm, why I'm branching out to other stuff. I mean, I've done uh, L.A. Noir, I've done Oprah Din. Um, I'm going to be doing more games as well. Just, you know, got to keep relevant, got to keep relevant. I don't know when they're going to come out with another Fallout game. I mean, Fallout 76 was last year. Uh, how long is it going to be before Fallout 5? 10 years? A decade's a long time to do Fallout 4, right? <laughs> That's a long time to do Fallout 4. So I gotta keep myself um, diversified. Joshua Tony says, you know what would be awesome? If when you reach 5 million subscribers, YouTube gave you a diamond play button that has Fallout references. That would be really cool. Oh, oh man, that would be really cool. Uh, five million, man, that's a long. Is is it five million or ten million? The time I thought the diamond play button was ten million. Uh, wow, I can't, I can't spell anything. Google auto corrected it to diamond poker gya. It's diamond play. Button, not diamond polka. Oh! This is my first time learning that there's a graphite opal and bronze level. Blew past those. I don't remember the. Oh, uh, diamond is for 10 million. Oh my god. 10 million. How am I going to do that? <laughs> Someday. I just keep at it. My kids will be in college. I'll get my diamond play button. It'll come. It'll come. Alan Blunk says, Ox, do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Just kidding. Let's play video games. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. And let's let's play video games. It's time. we got a couple of minutes, right? Two minutes left. And then we'll get back into Bioshock Infinite. Would you kindly, says Sean. I would kindly. We got one minute left. That's close enough. Let me move my chats on over to the other monitor. So I'll be looking over there. Bear in mind that as I'm playing the game, I will still try to watch chat, but I, I may miss I may miss a few, even super chats. So please, uh, I beg your patience. Why, y'all? I get ready to play some Bioshock Infinite.
Okay, so that's a weird thing. Uh, also, bear in mind, as this is my first time starting the game, there will likely be issues we need to correct, like screen tearing. Um, it sounds like there's a weird audio issue. You hear how I can hear the... But then the background ambience just turned on. That's really weird. Okay, so you want music. Let's go get music. Backing up, backing up, backing up. See, like, I don't even know if I would get demonetized for that song. All right, here we go. Main game. Uh, new game. Start new game. Select a medium, hard. Let's do hard. No screen tearing yet, that's good news. You have unlocked the golden pistol and machine gun upgrades. Find the weapons to equip them. Okay. Okay. Oh, of course, they put this right in the middle of the intro cinematic. You've unlocked the Comstock's eye. Find a sniper rifle to equip it. Okay. Are you? You've unlocked the boom. Find a shotgun to equip it. I'm afraid of God. No. But I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to transdimensional travel are Lutus, 1889. 1912, Coast of Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing, rowing. Rowing? Have you planned on it? So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No, I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. I don't. Why doesn't he row? We've arrived. Moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Okay, yes, I'll move. I had to turn the volume down because everyone says that the volume's too loud. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, my mouse sensitivity. Well, I would look that way if I could. Holy cow. All right, I turned the in-game volume down just a bit. Zcheb says, lol, I left in the middle of Dishonored 2. I'm so uh, excited for you to play this, though. It's one of my favorite games. Well, I'm thrilled. Can't wait to get into it. Can't hear you, Ox. Ugh, I bought a new device just to solve this problem. There, I turned the volume down 10 decibels, and I've got this thing practically clipping, so. Okay, um, keyboard, mouse, mouse sensitivity. I have it all the way up. Let's turn it down, mouse acceleration off, enter to save changes, back. Okay, well, beginning of the game, 
have no idea what to do. They said ladder. I don't see a ladder. Anyone see this ladder? Okay, space bar. E. Wasid. Number pad. No jump. Crouch. Looking around, right click. Left click. Can you make the subtitles bigger? Not without reducing the resolution of my game. Why, why can't I move here? Left side. Yeah, I thought it was the left side. W or E to stand up. I'm pressing both. I can't turn left. I can turn right. I can't turn left. Like I'm getting a hard wall over there. You see that? I can't turn any more left. Why can't I turn left? How are you? I warned you that something like this would happen. Uh, Roman says, Ox, you should capitalize on your charisma. Watched some Twitch streams. They're not even close as interesting as your persona is your capital. Thank you, Roman. That's extremely kind. Well, I mean, that's why I'm trying to trying to you know do streaming now. Um, okay, let's. And I can't turn the screen resolution down. Look towards the ladder on your left. Restart. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's restart checkpoint. Can I skip this? Booker. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Okay, escape. Nope, can't skip it. Too early in the game to break reality, Ox. Yeah, I know. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? There! Standing. I can look left now. Rowing. Rowing. Now I can't. Stand on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? There, now I can look left again. I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Left. Imagine that's right, wonderful exercise. Left, then what? Right. The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean I Did Ox read my message? I had to read Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does. J.A. Bristol says, does. if there were to be a Fallout movie, because would it be bother you if the actors didn't sound row. like the characters no. if they looked like he them? He doesn't grow. Ah, I see what you mean. I don't know. If there is a Fallout movie, I would want it to be a completely different story. We've arrived. Okay, I'm looking left. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I'm so happy. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. <laughs> oh, maybe there's someone inside. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, being stranded there would be pretty bad. Good luck, buddy. Or Booker. Okay, my mouse sensitivity is still really fast. Let's go back and change that. Um, let's put it down there, I guess. Mouse acceleration off. Okay. 
Pick up Silver Eagle. That's my FPS. 59. I guess that's not bad. Sorry, it's initial setup time. How's my screen tearing? Screen tearing okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have frame rate uncapped? Lock frame rate off. It's uncapped, but looks like it's still capped at 60. Field of view. Let's push that up there. Subtitles on. So yeah, I can't control the size of subtitles, uh, sadly. Now I do have it set to be lighter than usual because when I went by uh, the game's darkness and lightness um, recommendations, people on the live stream said they, they still couldn't see. So uh, it's much lighter than it should be. Still at 59 FPS, all right. We'll hide that. Okay, before going through... Oh. Duet, bring us the girl and wipe away the death. This is your last chance. Let's knock on door in a minute. And we'll go all the way around. Let's see what we've got here. Provisions. Wow, that's really small. No, it looks good. I'm not seeing any screen tear. Well, maybe I should be playing at a smaller resolution so that the menu and interface is a small, large enough to see. It looks pretty small. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Here we go. I mean, there's background music going on, so I've got to mute it. That's what I'm doing now. Of thy sins. Use basin. Why would I do that? I just got out of the rain. Okay. Good luck with that, pal. So he thinks that his sins can't be washed away. And I know this is annoying. I've got sound turned off. All right, I'm just going to turn music off. Sorry. I have to be able to hear the sound effects. Here, I'll put it up one notch. Maybe that'll be quiet enough uh, to not get me in trouble. All right, I got a can of beans that increases my health. I'm trying to get th to grips with the similarities between the two games, or the three games, actually. Upstairs we go. From Sodom shall I lead thee. Is anyone here? Hello? Silver Eagle cereal. Use telephone? Dow tone. Be prepared. He's on the way. You must stop him. See. Is that me? Looks like what? A train? Eh? 
And those are too small, I can't read them. Ooh, we got blood on the table. Wallet, hello. Oh man, I got 18 coins. Rolling in the depth. White oats. Mmm. Drink coffee. Oh, yeah. You sink? We've got blood on the table here. Can't interact with it. Anything under the stairs? Do I have a torch? Nope. To thine own land shall I take thee. Oh, we've got a murder weapon here. Look at that. Busta Thomas Jefferson? Shit. Don't disappoint us. No, I was wrong. That wasn't the murder weapon. Look at that bullet in the head. He was tortured first. Well, I'm glad someone's expecting us. I'm so glad that boat just left without making sure we were okay. What's ticking? Oh, that, the giant. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Oh, look at that. There were the symbols in my briefcase. Right, how do I open up my inventory? Looks like there's no inventory. Nav aid and gameplay menu. Oh. Okay, well, I have to go by memory. What was it? It was one. Oh, I can't ring them separately. Wait a minute, that card. There it is. One, two, two. J.A. Bristol says, what if the story was merely mentioned? One where we knew only the premise so the movie could fill in the details, like the battle at Helios. Uh, I'd love a Fallout movie that made reference to events from other Fallout games, but I'd prefer a Fallout movie that was different. One, two, two. That must be the... Close 
encounters of the something kind. Oh, and I can't go back down. With the blazes? What's going on? I guess I'll sit right. in the big red chair. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Well, we were thinking the same thing. Okay, into the fancy chair we go. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, what the hell? <clears throat> go! Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The binding are there, the safeguard. <clears throat> Uh, no, no, God damn it! Attention! Uh, uh, Attention! Count of five. No, count no, of four. No, no, no. Three, two, one. No! Attention! Attention! Alright, we're gonna just stay calm. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. I, I, I think this would probably be better with music, right? We're in heaven. It's official. Angels and everything. Father Comstock, our prophet. a finger for our own salvation and though we deserve not his mercy he has led us to this new Eden wow this, this is much more religious than the past two a last chance for redemption And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Man, it's straight up like a uh, 1912 Abraham. Moses, I guess. Now well, there's my health bar. Find a way into the city. Oh, I recognize that sound effect. Okay. Press N to help navigate to your current objective. Oh, cool. Word of the prophet. I can't read it. I've got it. I just want to read his word. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. It seems a little violent. And 
Nice ribbon there, buddy. Left or right? We're at the welcome center. Oh, that reflection is great. The lamb, the future of our city. What is this hey, Excuse game? me. Oh. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Let's keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Can't talk with him further? All right. Well, let's go into this, um... So wait a minute, we're in the sky, Stan... I mean, it's Bioshock, so no matter what we explore, it's gonna be flooded, but we're in, we're in a cloud city, uh, submerged in water. <laughs> oh no. Pick up Silver Eagle. Am I gonna get in trouble for taking all this money? Gotta find the exit out of this place. Yeah, 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 T I'm taking my time. Search gift. Silver Eagle. Oh, there's a little Boy Scout. A lot of toys. Looks a lot like a gift the little sisters would leave behind. Oh, there's a little alcove. Nothing in the hat box. Nothing in the guitar case. I'm digging the, uh... Different containers we can loot, though. Looks like I can't read all of these books. Basket empty. So what religion is this? It's very reminiscent of evangelical Christianity, and yet evangelical Christianity doesn't have a lot of these, like, stained glass shrines and candles burning and alcoves. And sh I mean, this is a cross-shaped little... Um, Prey station. Is that what they're called? A little prey station? <laughs> so it's like a mix of evangelical Christianity and Catholicism. It's probably some new. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Why? Does it always have to be like. That's an extravagant way to say, I got pregnant. Wow. Good for you. Congratulations! Share it with the world, why don't you? The seed of the prophet. <laughs> I wonder what that could be. Alright, uh, we've got pick up silver eagle. Oh yeah, more silver eagles. The confession. Can we read that note? That was the pit boy in the basket, says I Jinx. I'm really missing my pit boy right now. I want to look at the local map. Well, we got another alcove. Wow. Someone really liked this, uh, this, this lady. Stained glass window of her and a big portrait of her. Ooh, what's this? Pick up the Voxophone. Press J to play your most recently acquired Voxophone. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Okay, her her name is Lady Comstock. I'm already telling you I'm going to mess that up at some point in this broadcast. All right, I'm going to do my best. Comstock. But he's already talking about seed of the prophet. And I'm going to mess it up. Bummer that they didn't have subtitles on that, though. They did in the last game. Okay, well, we've got a nice little guy who's very devout, even if his feet are wet. Every year, 
on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Carson. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against Recognize that the voice beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough. That's Confessor Tectus. That's the voice of Confessor Tectus of the children of Adam from Far Harbor. I recognized it as soon as I heard it. Okay, now what? Enter the circle. Oh, do I really have to enter the circle? All these guys look the same, you see that? Well, they're very similar. Oh, I don't wanna enter the circle. Can I do anything else? Fire, can we just get burned by fire? I don't wanna enter the circle, man. Looks like I've got to enter the circle. Oh God, here we go. We're entering the circle, folks. This guy seemed nice. Is it someone new? Someone from the southern below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Yeah. I'm just looking to pass through. Go on, brother. Reach out, brother. Reach out, brother. Go on, brother. Hallelujah. Glory be. Glory oh, they're be. just all looking at me, too. Oh, you're just all so nice Reach and out. clean cut. Oh, look at that head. kind face. Glory be. Glory be. Will you just shut up, please? I'll go, okay? Cleanse yourself. I just want to get it over with. Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean. Again? Oh, he's holding my head under one. Wow. Who's there? Why? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the dead. What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Where's my gun? Where's my Go gun? Go away. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. I can't take my gun. I'm not opening that door. Knock all you want. But I'm not Okay, fine. I'll open the door. Brook DeWitt investigations into matters both public and private. So I'm a PI. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. Do not be alarmed. Whoa! <laughs> Benjamin Franklin? George Washington? That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. 
Yeah, well, how do you, you know, know you're not dead there, figure buddy? Out where the hell I am. Locate the statue of Columbia. Of gold okay. So that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. What? And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit, recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so Comstock. that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Jay Bristol says, speaking of Helios, it also sounds like Elijah. It's been so while since I've heard uh, Father Elijah's voice that I uh, don't remember what it sounds like. I'll have to play again. So they're, they're deifying the founding fathers of America? Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. Reasonable. Did I just go into Eden and eat an apple? Is that the first thing I just really did? Oh, man, I should have... Hey, <laughs> and it hurt me. Oh, doggone it. What is Columbia, if not another ark for another time? Well, they've got hummingbirds up here. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. They're just going all out with this game, aren't they? They're just like, we're going to take one small idea. We're just going to go all out. Ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, and the, the key. key. Amen. Amen. Everything is so white. Like, really, really white. Only providence. And that you see its divine hand at work. You discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Yeah, Benjamin Franklin would be really upset to hear you talk that way about science. <laughs> Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. Okay, so my character is here looking for a girl. Uh, the seed of the prophet shall sit the throne. Oh, we, are, we already read that. Looks like we've got some waterfalls over here. And nothing over there, so door we go. Ever explain the technology? It's got a waterfall and everything. <sighs> Just missed it. I bet we could have something arranged. <laughs> I know, Mr. Rossignol. I've never had an oyster. <laughs> Mr. Rossignol, you are terrible. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Good to see you. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. There's more? Look at that. Okay. What's the word, kid? All of Columbia celebrates. Scout. I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute 
you know, divinity. Hmm? Wow, I feel so small. Songstall's all right, I tell you. It says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Daily docking schedule. So every hour on the hour. No, except for ten. And two. And five. Well, let's go into the Hudson's uh, dressers. Dressery. Pilgrims, welcome. All right. Oh yeah, pick up popcorn. Wait, did that hurt me or heal me? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is a... All right, I got to get rid of that background music. Sorry. Exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Use the kinetoscope. The word of the prophet presents Father Comstock's gift of prophecy. Cal says, heads up, don't be afraid to throw the ball. All right. The word of the prophet presents Father Comstock's gift of prophecy in the midst of the darkest storm. The great prophet foresees bright sunshine and lo, it appears. What will the great pro prophet reveal next? Our prophet, Finn. Thrilling. Derby. Ooh. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city. Lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Okay, so I think I can turn off radios here. Let's test that. Options, audio, music volume, punch that up. So I just need to get to the radios quickly if I want to make money with this broadcast. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. What a cool city. Oh, this setting is just amazing. Look at that. What does Vox Popular even mean, for heaven's sake? Voice of the people. It's Latin. It means... Latin. <laughs> yeah, Latin, the language that was used by the church for thousands of years. Kurt's groceries and meat. Ice cream shop closed. Good day, citizen. You're looking fit. Thank you. Lads playing in a fire hydrant.
Nothing in the box. Fuck. What's that? An electric horse? Oh! Wow. Forget the car. We're just going to make a straight up electric horse. Howdy, officer. The right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. You can't be everywhere at once. You'll always miss something. Wow. I'm just stunned with what the game developers achieved with this place. This place looks and feels huge. I feel like an ant in this city. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm really impressed. Columbia Raffle and Fair. Huh. Patriots Pride Confectionery. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. What? We got a lab. Oh, look, we got a grocery store. Warm temperatures and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In Hello. short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. That's a beautiful day for festivities, Columbia. Okay, so I'm healing myself. So I got wounded. And I'm just straight up stealing cake. I don't even care. Man, that's how I roll in Columbia. I see cake, I eat it. Search cutlery box. Didn't even see a cutlery box. Guess that's it. All right, well, my character is back at full health, my private investigator guy. Ooh, we got another video, Kinetoscope. Beware the false shepherd. The false shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb to destroy. Who is the false shepherd? Is it him? Is it him? Or him? Is it you? Only our vigilance protects the lamb from the false shepherd. Finn. So... Does that have anything to do with Sophia lamb? Who's this girl? False Shepherd seeks only to lead our lamb to distray. To astray. I said distray, didn't I? So AD, Anno Domini, inscribed on the right hand of this false shepherd. We saw AD tattooed on our character's hand. I remember seeing it. When he was getting inside the lighthouse chair. Ah, uh, great. I think I know what's going to happen. Our character here is going to get falsely accused of being the false shepherd. Or maybe he really is the false shepherd. I don't know. Um, which way? You're kidding me, Beach Boys! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this is great. Columbia's gayest quartet. Sure about Read a beach boy, I love it. God only knows what I'd be without you. Without you. Without you. All right, I'm cool. Love these guys. Oh no, don't go away. Oh. Direct 091 says, What a lovely gay old time. I feel the same way. Wow, look at this place. They, man, they knocked it out of the ballpark. They realized the vision of this game. It feels like a big open city. It's great. Oh, that's the Columbia Raffle and Fair. Okay, before we go that way, let's head on over here see what was up these stairs. Nick Bloggett says, and demonetized. Yeah, but it's a barbershop quartet. I mean, they would have to have some extremely aggressive robots if they're going to demonetize the barbershop we quartet. A We're raising money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> sure. Maybe next time. Oh. You look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I can't buy one? Okay. Okay, that's roomy. Ox like the Beach Boys, says John. Man, I was raised on the Beach Boys. I was raised on lots of old music. Voxophone. One man goes into the waters of baptism. A different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint. Until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. Dead end, but at least we got a box box phone. Alright, wrap it on. into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Popular, now do I? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, huh? said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77, stop. Tess. <laughs> Go to the Monument Island and find the girl. Do not pick number 77. I should play quick save. No? 
I can't save? Oh, I can't save. Oh, it's scandalous! Behind the garbage can! What will Mother say? Why, well, good day to you, sir. Hello. Marlowe's patented vigor! Murder of crows! Proven deterrent against hooliganism! Or against two again. Would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today. Where's Matt? No I don't know what he sees in here. Those are no tall tales. Holy out of the pool. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are figures I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah. Look at her. Ain't she some kind of beauty? You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Yes, they still allowed average Janes and Joes to enter. You know, you gotta be somebody now. Everyone is saying I missed something in the viewer. Doomsday says, hey Ox, remember me? Just wanted to say again how awesome your videos are. You're my favorite person to watch. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Doomsday. All right, so I missed something in the viewer. Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything. I mean, there's people over there. Is that what I was supposed to get? Money on the ground. Thank you. Only one chance to see it. Oh. Okay, before I go up there, that's where the raffle's likely to be. Let's explore over here. Hello there, friend. I would be so terrified to bring my kids here. All it takes is one rowdy kid running around and having too much fun. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. Guess we gotta go through the raffle. To bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. 
who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vicar? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet and praise be to our fair city. So, instead of Adam, if I told you and plasmids, a man could have lightning from his fingers bigger? now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist the Young sir, to... young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of fucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, fucking Bronco is just the ticket. All right. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of fucking Bronco. Find the devil, good sir, and cast him out. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> what are you waiting for, friend? The rapture? And there's devil number one. Okay. My character has bigger. And that's three. We have a winner. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Bucking Bronco. Okay. Skylines, Columbia. So was originated by adolescents. <laughs> Little joy riders. The sneak out lines of Columbia. Or a baby produced a sky hook. More than one of Vader's standards. Look for next one. Don't be easy. The Vox Populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? Hey, you! Handy with a rifle? Looking to do your part for Columbia? Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Shoot the targets, earn the points, win the prize. How to play, you have 30 seconds. Yes, Shoot the target for points. Who will take arms Hit Daisy Fitzroy for bonus points. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Oh, no, iron sight. Another shot. Right on the money. A natural gunslinger. Okay, so they've got some sort of Calling mythology about Daisy Fitzroy. Who can protect us? Demonstrate your bravery right here. Shoot the targets, earn the points. Choose wisely. Bucking Bronco. Oh, so this is like a uh, a gatherer's garden. Bucking Bronco. That's the only one I can unlock. But it costs 375. I've only got 94. The Vox Populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? Information. Figures dispense more aggressive aid, like it like breathes fire, that sort of nonsense. <laughs> and why would I want to do that? Come on down and see the amazing Candyman. Is he man? Is he machine? Only Colombian ingenuity could create such an amazing marvel. Whoa! 
Josh Bunton says, sorry for being absent last week. Was in Boston for work. No sweat, my friend. Hope you had a good trip for work, and I'm glad to see you back. Vincy, the eighth wonder of the world. He's big. He's bold. He's the amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Whoa. Have you ever seen anything like it? He looks so sad. Sad? You're that strong. What's it to be said about? See the amazing What's this? Salt? Invigorating salt. Stay awake. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. What was that? Press to turn machines into allies. With possession equipped, press right mouse to make a machine friendly to you. What the hell was that? <laughs> How I feel right now. Okay. Salt's full. Nothing on the projector. What's this? Try using possession on the ticket taker. Okay. Well, as the history said, the men Buford, your spot at the map of the wings. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. Great. Well, that's where I need to go. I'm getting the picture. We'll go there in a minute. I still have more of this carnival Four to explore. Flavors. Sweet caramel. Extra sweet. Or I suppose I should say, sweet caramel. What for do you call home? Can it pour it in a storm? Nathan says, Zox, try changing your field of view. It's all small. It's small because I'm playing at a 4K resolution, even though I'm only streaming uh, on 1920, 1080. So I'm not gonna change that now, but I will change it for next week so that my user interface is fixed. Just for this Australian business. I bet he could lift that entire boot over his head. Okay, there was something over here. Four drone box, box phones. Box of phone. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. <laughs> I like a character who minds his money. I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks, but it's safer than Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. Red hot hot dogs, Colombian is apple pie, patriotic is a rifle. Oh my. Delicious as a I have. Kiss. Liar. Honest. Nearly blew the windows out of my house. All right, so we cast the devil out. We got our first time. Um, Plasmid. What's this? Skyline Bond? Fear not. I got just a gear. Grab a shotgun and go to work. Oh, yeah, no, this guy. what it takes to keep I'm our trying. city safe. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough, and I'll get you a prize. Oh, this fella knows a 
I got disqualified for trying to use the box or the salt. Back on it. Okay, well, I need to get better at um, resisting the urge to right click to get my iron sights out. Uh, that's why I used it twice. Oh, you kids. All right, I think we've done everything. Now to go to the raffle. What did they say? Don't draw number 77? Okay, let's do our best. We already cast out the devil. You, sir, are you? Gentlemen, who will take arms against me? Get my salt full. Okay. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Why do they all say that? Why do they all say heads? What is wrong with that coin? I'm starting to think something's wrong here. Okay, well, it's better than Brothers Grimm, right? Okay, health kit. No, 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 salt. That's what wears <laughs> he looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. Every person here has the same face. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. My role model? Or Lady Comstock, of course. The, the Prophet, prophet bless, bless her and keep her. And keep her. Excuse me, I uh, want to loot that garbage can. I yes? believe all the prophet's teachings, but some people think that Lady Comstock not only designed the Columbia flag, but sold every single one of them in existence. Really. You know, Thomas, I don't make light of your beliefs. I would appreciate it if you did not make light of mine. 
and in front of our friends. This little beauty? Ah, the whole division got them. We're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system. And we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. I got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> that did that statue just have a seizure I think that statue just had a seizure our lettuce gave Columbia her wing Madame Lutess I have read all your books on the sciences mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. Hmm. So girl in the tower. The telescope? Shall know the false shepherd, A.D. Anno Domino, year of our Lord. I knew it. It's me. I'm the false shepherd. They're all going to turn on me as soon as I shake hands. Hey there, Benjamin. Rolling. Dollar bill. Another vending machine. Another portion blocked off. Police box. What's in the police box? Nothing. Sorry, son. This street is closed. Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. Whoop. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is uh -oh. that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Columbia? What? All right then. The winner is number 77! Oh no! Number 77, come and claim your prize! Damn it. First round! How do I, how do I not pick 77? Everyone's telling me not to pick 77. Brass Cog says it's okay, pick number 77. It was me, it was all me, please, please! Please, what are you 
What the heck is this? Are you going to throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> what? I know what you want. Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Time's a wasting, my boy. Why don't you give her a throw? Bitch. Wait. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd! And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock! <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! back. Bullets, bullets, ammunition. I only have 12 rounds. Oh, I can't go that way, huh? Well, I can't go that way. No, I can't. That's the Monument Island. I got salt. The only salt I have can pull some. Can I? I only have one salt, and that's the, um... Oh, I should have bought the other one. Oh, but I didn't have the money. Man, I was really enjoying this town, too. I told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls oh in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. What the actual heck, man? This game is very daring. Son of a bitch is in the park! Cut him off! Don't let him escape! Oh. I wish I had iron sights. Oh yeah. No, I can't use that. I really want to use that.
need help! Oh! <laughs> uh, health kit, yeah. 36! How much pistol ammo? I've got 76 pistol ammo. Oh, man. I'm not going to waste my money on health kits. Use possession on turrets and vending machines. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah! Two. Thank you. I completely forgot about possession. Oh! Out of salt. I appreciate a lady who appreciates the value. Doggone it. I'm gonna have to get a salt. And a health pack. I don't have enough? Forever. your life is saved, you will be partially healed, but so will... What just happened? I just eat. Well, whatever it is, I'm at full life now. All this because I had a tattoo on my hand. Great. Salts.
getting hot. What's going on? Sample. With Devil's Kiss equipped, press right mouse to throw a fiery grenade and hold release right mouse to change an explosive trap. Ah, uh, well, I don't want to waste my vigor right now. How do I switch between Q? Great. me now. Run away! Keep running! Run away! That goes back outside, right? The Blue Ribbon. Seasons Pass awarded you four gear pieces. A golden machine gun upgrade. A golden pistol upgraded. Oh. Industrial Revolution op 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 awarded you 500 silver, silver eagles and three gear pieces. Get them at the Blue Ribbon. <laughs> You've unlocked three pieces of gear. Collect them at the Blue Ribbon. Okay. You must collect all of your rewards before continuing to Monument Island. Why do they look so trippy? Oh, hey guys. What's this? The word of prophet. Reckoning day. A luck back at opening day. 1893. The dream of the prophet is finally alive. Columbia begins her journey to spread America's vision to the world. Thin. The 
Kravitz stands up to foes, within and without. 1901, the Chinese boxers take hostage American innocence. Kravitz and Columbia stand up for America. What thanks does Columbia get? Washington to Comstock stand down. We stand behind the prophet. Ben. Hmm. We secede from the so-called Junior. 1902, a cowardly America recalls her finest city. No thanks, says the prophet. We are fine on our own. Columbia secedes from Union. This appears into the clouds. Finn. Hey, everybody. I'm sure you're all friendly. What have we, we got here? Indeed. Why are you following me? We were only here. Why are you following us? I... Aperitif. Gear is special clothing that grants you unique abilities. You can only wear four pieces at a time, one per type. Manage your gear from the gameplay menu. New pants. Ghost soldier. Killing with a vigor, a vigor trap, has a 70% chance to cause the enemy gun to become a ghostly ally for a few seconds. Okay. New hat, electric punch. 70% chance that a melee target is stunned. Victim is vulnerable for four seconds. New boots, eagle strike. Increases weapon damage by 50% on sky lines. New shirt, ammo advantage. Increases clip size of all weapons by 75%. Oh yeah. What happens if I do cigarettes? I gain, I gain more vigor. Okay. Uh, what's this? New boots, betrayer. Killing a possessed human causes them to explode. Nearby enemies take 360 damage over five seconds. Oh. I'll take it, but I don't think I'm going to equip it. New pants, bull rush. Melee targets are knocked back. Ghost soldier, killing with a vigor trap. Has a 70% chance enemy gun to become ghostly. Ally. That's interesting. I'll try that. New hat, extra, extra. When found, Vox phones provide silver eagles. Uh, melee attack is stunned. Victim is vulnerable for four seconds. Um, I need money, so I'll take that. Whoops, I forgot to equip it. I told you, Comstock. You some some paradise, and the Whoops. customers expect cherubs for every jaw. <laughs> no. Salt's infusion increases salt's capacity. Uh, health infusion. Oh. So I see. Uh, it's an infusion that's between phases, right? Okay, so health infusion increases maximum health, increases shield capacity, increases salts capacity. Well, let's do health. Genials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man. Um, health, probably. And in Georgia, who lease us as many Negro convicts as you can board. New boots, handyman nemesis increases damage against handymen by fifty percent. We'll just take. Why? Why you say there? The difference between life and death. New boots, fleet feet. When evading, movement speeds are increased. Affects side strafing and backpedaling. Let's let's compare that. Increases weapon damage by fifty percent. Let's equip it. I like the rising food. above their station. <laughs> New shirt, sugar rush. After eating a snack, move 50% faster for three seconds. Uh, ammo advantage. Now I'm keeping ammo advantage. Well.
Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. All right, I've done two and two health. Let's up that salt infusion. Just what the doctor. Might have I steal all your money and booze? Is this guy dead? I think he's dead. Well, hello. Shield. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point. Are these the guys that dropped me off at the lighthouse? Okay, why is that phone ringing? Father Comstock called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, Father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, why settle for less? And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice. I know how it ends. This game is not uh, not holding back any punches, isn't it? Blood on the streets, and worse is the insult, because today is the day that marks our secession from the Sodom below. Well, I don't remember getting any shotgun or anything. Didn't it say I would find a golden shotgun here? Uh, I can't switch between a shotgun, can I? So I don't have it. I hope he doesn't keep on with that. He could be at it all day. Well, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. I'm sure it'll come. Can I open these doors? Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Hook must be magnetized. What was that? I can fly. So 
That's a skyline strike. Yeah. Gotta go that way. I'm gonna try not to rush through it, but I'm kinda of like amped up right now. Locked. Locked? Optional get quests give you an opportunity to find valuable resources. Stay alert for a key that may open this chest. <laughs> Otis works up at the lodge part-time. He took this box from one of their secret ceremonies. And I know for sure, there is something dear inside. Problem is, Otis is more fool than not. He didn't bother to also secure a key from the Feathered Brothers to open the damn thing. Okay, so there's a key in someplace else.
out here. Is... Ah! Oh! Tim, the one they're after. Go. They're looking for you. Police, we're in need of your assistance. They're here. Shh. Keep your voice down. good when I had that machine gun. Meeting of the Columbia Friends of the Society, Pastor Atkins from a topic until there is equal, none of us are equal. spend all my money on that? Not right now. Fights the Serpent of Nations. Ademus Patria Nostra Defendere. Soldier says, Hey, Oxford, how are you enjoying Dishonored and Bioshock as a franchise? Here's a few caps for your great content. Keep up the good work. How had that Victoria? Thank you. I'm really enjoying them. Um, let's see, I probably missed something. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying Dishonored. I like Dishonored 2 better than Dishonored 1. And I liked, um, 
death of the outsider more than I liked Dishonored 2. So they just kept getting better and better in my opinion. And so far I'm really enjoying Dishonored, uh, I'm sorry, Bioshock Infinite. So this is where I came from, right? Yeah, it's a printing press. So this is like a secret society, an underground society that wants to free uh, enslaved peoples. And that's where I came in at. All right, well, I haven't found a key. Comstock came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just... He just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native or maybe, maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope we don't expect me to stuff and mount her. <laughs> Oh, what a creep. Ah, uh, Daisy Fitroy. What was the name of the girl we heard? That was Candy, wasn't it? Man, this game is graphic in terms of dialogue. Very, very graphic. All right, well, it looks like we've explored everything around here. Izzy says, I love your videos, ah! Thank you, Izzy. What is this, like some sort of secret society clan thing? Bunch of rotting fruit in here. No thanks. Oh no, radio, 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 radio. I gotta turn off this radio. Gotta turn this off. Man, they really, really like that music. They did not want me to turn it off. <laughs> I ruined their jam. John Wilkes Booth? What? What is this? Okay. For a culture that's really patriotic, how come they have a giant statue to John Wilkes Booth, the guy that killed Abraham Lincoln? That's weird. This is really, really weird. Well, we gotta figure this out. Though, I don't know how much longer I have. Angel Columbia gave unto the founders the tools to build a new Eden. They did so without hesitation. For 85 years they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Wow. Wow, well they just answered my question there. So they like America, but 
They don't like Abraham Lincoln or the North or freeing the slaves. So we've got a twisted alternate history thing going on here. No wonder America said they didn't want the help of these guys. They celebrate John Wilkes Booth. Order of the Raven. Look at all of this bird pooping. Rotting food everywhere. Really? Really? <laughs> I can't even believe what I'm seeing. Uh, I guess I'm not upset when we're on these guys' bad side. Is that it? Oh, wait, there was a key here, right? I'm supposed to look for a key. we find a chest key because I, I believe this is where they got the chest what is that it's absolutely awful lockbox under the stairs what did I get Was it on the butler? And I didn't kill the butler. Well, he ran. He was not hostile, so I'm not going to kill him. Aurora Alchemy says, alcohol takes away salts. Don't drink it. Good call. Good call. Thank you. Another fireplace. Or is this the same one? No, it's a different one. Maduro. Cigars. Wow. Protecting. Oh my gosh. Oh, upstairs, upstairs, right, another floor. Hello. And so, the prophet led us into Pesci, where we demonstrated to the sorrow below the true mission our founders have given us. And when the men and hypocrites of Washington betrayed him. Our prophet did not heal. He did not come crawling for their forgiveness. Like our fathers broke with the great apostate, our prophet broke with these so-called patriots. And today is the day we celebrate this society. It's like every game I play, I'm killing Nazis. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Wolfenstein on Fridays, where I'm killing Nazi Nazis, and in this one, I'm killing a bunch of clan members in a sky ship. Keep shooting! <laughs> Man. 
Hyperkill Mike says, hey, Ox, been here since 100,000 followers. Uh, love the work, keep on going. Thanks, man, I'm gonna keep on going. No signs of stopping. Lots to do, lots to do. No rest for the weary. Can I take a sledgehammer to these statues of John Wilkes Booth in this place? This is just insanity, man. I would have been very uncomfortable making this game, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'm glad I'm, I'm getting to kill Nazis and clan members, but um, imagine having to be the guy that designs them and writes their dialogue and voices them. Oh. Ooh, hey, cool. Um, optional quests give you an opportunity to find valuable resources. Try revisiting places you've already been to find a lock for that key. Oh, I think I know where that is. Ah, uh, the shield has been really useful. So let's do... Ox press Z for iron sights. Thanks. I, it's really awkward for me. So I'll try to remember that, but I may not always use it. Just because uh, in the heat of battle, you know, remembering to press Z and all. What exactly was the great emancipator emancipating the Negro from? From his daily bread, from the nobility of honest work, from wealthy patrons who sponsored them from cradle to grave, from clothing and shelter. And what have they done with their freedom? Why, go to Finkton and you shall find out. No animal is born free, except the white man. And it is our burden to care for the rest of creation. Over the top. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go get that chest. Okay. This chest has better be worth it. If it's like salts or something, I'm gonna be blind. It was in here, right? Or one of these houses. Oh, hey. Where is he? Put you to It was in the kids' room, right? over here I remember now kids room kids room kids room Aha! that shield is pretty great I love that shield although I could use more salts right Mm-hmm. 
Courtyard in the mailbox. Did I not loot the mailbox? <laughs> Need the salts, man. Yeah, looks like I got one more to bump up. Let's bump that up. Now I'm full. Hold Q-Ox. Alright, but I have the vigor I need. Oh, there's another song. Uh, didn't I turn this off? I did. Turn off, you. I don't want to hear you. Okay. been down here. What did I miss? Always love to hear about my exploits on the radio. Ooh, elevator. Okay, yeah, these crows are freaking me out. Why are they absolutely everywhere? He punched that button. He's got purpose. Well, we have uncovered the seedy underbelly of this town. Let's spend some money. Health kits. That's one thing I haven't figured out yet. Have I picked up a number of health kits? Can I hold on to health kits? Like I can a Bioshock 1, a Bioshock 2? I don't know. Salts, pistol ammo. I've got a hundred and something pistol ammo. Machine gun ammo. I've got a hundred and something machine gun ammo. Well, I guess I don't need to spend my money just yet. that hey man I'm not one to judge whatever plus your boat Torture cells, eh? New pants, firebird. Jumping from a skyline 
has a 100% chance to burn enemy and nearby enemies. Victims take 400 damage over 3 seconds. Killing with a Vigor Trap has a 7% chance to cause the enemy to come ghostly. Let's equip... I like that skyline thing. There's a lot of fruit and vegetables in this place. Taylor was a vegan. Psst. Connection? Yeah, what's that beeping? Sweet mother of Columbia, why do we worship three symbols in your memory? We worship the sword, so that we might avenge you. We worship the raven, so that we might cover the city with eyes. We worship the coffin, because it symbolizes the weight of our faith. get demonetized then. With the devil's kiss equipped, hold and release right mouse to create an explosive trap. Is that, are you trying to tell me something? Okay. Kind of vigor. That's a hell of a thing. Well, let's see what it is. Down the hatch. Uh, flight, pro bones, uh, pro suit. Murder of Press crows. Summon murderous crows. Hold and release to create a nest trap. Okay, that's cool. So, I can do a murder of crows. over the place. I love it. Anything in the water? Nope. nope, 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 nope. Alright, let's try and go up. Oh, that crow's thing is just awful. Oh. New hat, burning halo. 70% chance that a melee target is set ablaze. Victims take 300 damage over 4 seconds. Let's compare that. Current hat, electric punch. 70% chance that melee target is stunned. I like what I have. I've already got the fire plasma, or <laughs> vigor, which I'm having a lot of fun with. 
Oh, it's that's supposed to be. That's awful. Right, I'm just now getting what that's supposed to be. That's awful. It is a merchant. Actually, should I set that on fire? Is that what it's telling me to do? expect to hear over an intercom a Frenchman with a false eye and a missing left foot oh my gosh how much time do I have it's already 10 30 bet I can get to Monument Island from that station oh but I'm almost there well... Okay, this time I'm really looking. That's where I'm going. like a famous person that I just don't recognize. That's it, huh? Freaky. I blew that guy so far that I can't loot his body. Where did he go?
Caution closed off limits. Well now, what could they be hiding inside? All right, I'm gonna have to end it there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, so now, now I know what all the, the buzz is about uh, when it comes to Bioshock Infinite. Uh, quite the game, quite the game. Uh, <laughs> it's not what I expected. I didn't expect it to be anything like this, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, it feels kind of like Bioshock, but the mechanics are very different and I'm gonna have to get used to them, but I am enjoying them, so. Um, the story. Wow, I'm going to have to come to grips to this with the story. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. New live stream tomorrow, Wolfenstein the Young Blood. If you haven't watched the first episode in my live stream of Wolfenstein the Young Blood, be sure to check it out. It's on my channel page, organized in the Wolfenstein Young Blood playlist. It's about four hours long. That'll get you up to speed with where we're at in the gameplay. We'll be kicking off tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific, uh, Pacific time for day two of Wolfenstein the Young Blood, and I hope to see you all there. Then this weekend, one lore video for you, Fallout 3 on Grey Ditch, the quest, the quest those. I've got all the footage recorded. I just need to work on the audio. It's going to take me a while. I'm thinking either Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday. That's my goal. But uh, aside from that, everybody, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday night. Be kind to absolutely everybody. Unless they're Nazis, then, you know, do your thing. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new episode.